They're both down. Burroughs 29 is on the ground. And as soon as uh, we get early word, we'll we will pass it on as uh, Derek Burroughs is being taken by a stretcher. Well, the medical crews now at NFL Stadium, they are a lot more sophisticated now than they were a number of years ago. They're able to handle this. I, there's some things if you don't can I talk about this article with you? Yeah, please. Okay. A couple of things I was going over here. Um you never cut you never been you never been invited back to Buffalo. Now this is 10 years old, so I don't know how much has changed since then, nor have the Bills ever honored you in any way. And I know you're not on the wall of fame. I don't, you know, and all that stuff. But the Buffalo Bills, they did not pay your medical bills and you had to take them to court. I was kind of surprised to read that. You're an NFL player. You're playing for them. You're union. You got hurt, and you were never to come back again. Um, and I remember that was time like uh, Dennis Bird was injured. I mean, these are injuries that you know were happening at that time. Um, you, I wouldn't. I would think as a fan, would come. Wouldn't you just it'd be covered? Would you, would you want to talk about that? Well, um, you know. You know, Ron, to this day, 36 plus years, the Buffalo Bills has never paid one single medical expense. As many, as many shots as I've gotten in my neck, as many nerve blocks as I've gotten, they have never, ever assisted me medically in any way to this day. And, and that's been so sad and, and hurtful to me, uh, even, you know, watching the Bills' success this year, uh, I found it hard to cheer for the only team I ever played for because, you know, my personal feelings uh, to about a team that had nothing to do with me. Uh, you know, uh, so, you know, the hurt, I guess that the anger I still feel in my heart, you know, I, I want to ask, you know, I want to ask the Pagula family, you know, what is it that, you know, what is it that I have, what is it that I have done so, so bad to the bills to, for them to treat me like this? I, I, I don't understand that. Do the Pagulas know, have you ever reached out to them or talked to them? Never. There's a good chance they don't know. Um, you know, because obviously that was back where Ralph Wilson was still the owner of the team. And uh, the Bagulas have only owned the team since 2014. Um, maybe this is where some awareness by Buffalo Bills fans can help. I mean, Bills Mafia is huge here. And I bet you, again, I came across the story. I, a lot of people don't might not know. I mean, Bills Mafia itself is a new group only been around since 2011. It's a new age of fans here. Maybe it's uh, uh, Jason. I, I think it's something, you know, I, you know, it's it's just like you've never been back. They never invite you back. And we don't. That's not how. I mean, this, you know, Bubble Bills fan, Bubble Bills are like family. So I was shocked. And then this guy wrote a really good article. And it was it. But it was just shocking. Like some, you know, how it, it just seemed like, you know, the article is tired. Derek Burroughs erased from history. You're not erased from history. You're not, and maybe you're forgotten a little bit by a lot of fans, um, not by me, um, not by Jay, you know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm much older than Jason, but, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. I think, we, you, I, I, you know, maybe we could look a little bit into it. Maybe this maybe this uh, interview will help. Um, I can definitely get shared. I do know some people uh, that I could say, hey, this is going on here, What what you know, and uh, – See what's going on. I mean, uh, you know, it's it's. I, I was shocked that it had to go to court and everything. I, but I just don't understand how the NFL didn't have to pay for this if you if it's a union league. Well, uh, maybe about around the same time that article was written, I I was having some uh, issues with my neck. I was always hurting, and uh, I went online to see if there was anybody still there. Still left, and at that time, Bud Carpenter, uh, I think he had he had went from assistant trainer to the head trainer. I, I think I'm not sure, but Bud Carpenter was still there, 
and I, uh, I, I got in contact with Bud Carpenter. And I said, hey, Bud, how you doing? Derek Burroughs, hey, man, how you doing, man? What you, what you doing? And I said, you know, everything's okay. I say, listen, I'm in serious pain every day. I'm hurt, you know, I need some help. Can you, can you please help me? Can you please get the organization to help me out a little bit? So Bud said, okay, um, let me talk to some people and I will call you right back. And five minutes later, I got a phone call from my attorney saying, don't ever call the bills again. Oof. Now that hurt. And today it still hurts. So, um, I, I'm, so I'm shocked. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Jason, you have anything you want to ask? I, I'm. Yeah, I, you know, and, and the one thing I thought of, my first initial thought, because obviously, you know, that, that hit took place uh, not only before my time, but before I was born, actually. I wasn't even a thought, but um, <laughs> that one that hit reminded me of something that, a very similar hit from when I was younger. And I remember following that story very closely. That was Kevin Everett. Kevin Everett took a really, really bad hit, and he was down. I, yeah. I you know, everybody was in fear yeah. of his life at that point. Denver Bronco game, I believe. Yep, Denver Bronco game. I it wasn't a season opener, but it was. It wasn't. It was a couple weeks in the season, I believe. It was chilly, but um, I looked at that story and how that played out. That story played out very differently from you know the way that your story ended up playing out, as we're hearing now. That story played out where the Bills actually made a move at the time that was a football move. Obviously, they had released and got rid of him, but so that they could actually kick have his benefits kick in, have him pursue disability, have him get the one-time payment for the uh, the player. It's a player health reimbursement plan and get some kind of financial stability where in your time, it seems like either there wasn't any or the bills. And I, I love the organization, you know, it's, I, I love them it's almost as much, if not more than I love my fiance and my son, but they didn't take care of you, you know, is what it sounds like. It's it's, it's really disappointing and shocking. And I would like to see some action uh, taken on this because I, I just, I can see it in your eyes, you know, Derek, I'm just meeting you now, but it's, it's, it's tough. And I can tell it's a hard thing for you. And, you know, you know, one day, <laughs> One day I would like to not heard about this. I really would. Dennis Bird's injury happened right around the same time and he was taken care of. So this, I, I didn't, I'm sorry I brought it up, Derek, but I mean, maybe this is a good thing we did. You need to, you want to get some water or so you need a break? No, I'm good. 